So I haven't filmed James yet. There's a good reason why. Y'all will find out later on. Um, I think the next the next logical stance is to take a look at Percy. What's up, motherfuckers? I have problems. Hi guys, going back once again, and like I already told you guys, Percy is our next logo to che check out. Um, <laughs> uh, I think Percy is probably my favorite model so far out of all of them. Uh, the good thing is about the Percy is that this Percy will be replacing the one that I've got already. To replace the Percy model I've got sitting up here. Party train Percy will go back. Uh, I don't know, I'm not too sure about it. Anyways, we'll get into this now because honestly I think Percy, the regular motorized Percy looks like it'd be a good model to che check into. I but I don't like the key features that So here we've got Percy, and I'll say, Percy looks really nice. We got the nice happy face, uh, unpainted buffer, sadly, no side rods, obviously because in the show they don't have side rods, um, and basically it's just a normal Percy. I don't like how they did the stripes on these. I think the stripes could have been, been done a whole lot better on Percy. That's just my general opinion. I'm gonna grab down the other Percy, and we're gonna look at them side by side. You've already seen a comparison between the original Percy and Party Train Percy, or, and that I mean by that, the original Trackmaster Percy. You've already seen a comparison between the two. And a little dusty. So besides the printing detail that's on the side of the Party Train Percy, they are virtually the same exact model. Percy's a little scuffed up on this side. Hmm. That's not good. Um, and apparently the instructions are down here in the bottom. They expect you to open it up and pull the instruction manual out from the bottom. Which granted to me makes no sense. Yeah, because you're supposed to go in and pull from the bottom. Okay. Does that make some sense? No pamphlet, because I've seen a pamphlet pop up recently. But... It's the same as virtually all Thomas pamphlets. It just tells you how to put in the batteries and shit like that. Also, Percy's mail car. It's literally just a truck with a red truck that you can remove this from, and then you get another red truck. Yeah. I think it's cool how they shoved that. They shoved that in there. Also, here's Percy in the back of the box. It's pretty nice. Obviously, the one thing I do like about All Engines Go is how they pretty much. They pretty much 
done exactly what we've been asking for for years, giving the engines different expressions. Like virtually, why, why did they wait till now to do that? I don't know, but these run virtually the same, I think. Uh, I will run the engines at some point, it's just gonna be a little while before I do that, and I think I'm gonna do a all engines go theme running session, but yeah. Um, for right now, that's gonna be it for this review. Um, and I'll put an all engines go running session video up sometime. Not sure when, but it'll happen eventually. Alright guys, peace out, take care.